Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In this video we'll be looking into a basic uh, sign up form built using react. So over here you can see uh, this is the code for it and uh, if you have uh, seen my previous videos of react uh, the folder structure is pretty much similar to this what you can see over here. Uh, there will be a public folder a source folder and two package JSON uh, fo uh, files right so this is like the basic uh, structure which you get with uh, react you can also create your own but i recommend using this kind of a structure the code for this will be available in the description so go ahead and uh, uh, modify it on your basis and uh, yeah so this is the folder structure and this is the entire component which we are uh, going to demonstrate in this uh, video so i'll just walk you through the entire component it is only one component that is a form uh, component within the source folder so this is how the hierarchy of react usually goes the source folder has a component folder and within the component folder you can have multiple components so in our case it is usually uh, it is a single form component or js and there is a styles uh, CSS and a default index.js file. So basically, we are using this form component to uh, be imported in this uh, main uh, React DOM render component, right? That is index.js. So basically, we are creating a component in the components folder and then uh, with a certain CSS properties, we are importing the component within this so if you have no idea about this kind of an implementation you can go and have a look at my previous beginner uh, videos on react so you'll get a better idea on this so let's get started with the fo uh, form component so yeah this is the entire form component it is very straightforward nothing complicated a bunch of functions if else statement and uh, regular expressions so regular expressions is generally used for uh, pattern matching in forms and password and things like that so if you want more information about uh, regex or regular expressions uh, i can link some good uh, tutorials and documentation around it within the description so go ahead and check that out and uh, yeah this is the entire component so let's uh, start with over here so this is how you uh, import react and these two variables are generally i'll just minimize this uh these two uh, variables that is the email and the password validator are generally the two regular expressions which we'll be using in this form to validate our password and email usually what happens is that uh, people uh, don't care about the email and can just to fulfill the form they type anything so there's no middleware to validate the email as well as the password so uh, using at the rate dot com and things like that so for that we are using this regular expressions this uh, can be easily found on internet you can use this also but yeah this is a uh, pretty strong regular expressions are used here for both email and password right yeah so make sure you check this so this basically validates uh, are you using uh, at the rate uh, uh, character or dot com in like uh, your email and things like that and for the password it generally checks that are you using or uh, eight characters minimum at least and do you have uppercase lowercase a number and a special character as you can see so minimum eight uh, characters are required for the password so yeah this uh, basically validates that so this is our class component we are using a class component not a functional component so this is like the basic of react uh, vanilla kind of a structure so this is a form component and there is a constructor which we have used with a bunch of states so for each and every field that is first name last name email address and things like that 
we have a state and we are storing the input given by the user into that state so eventually you will get a data that is uh, the first name last name and email when you click on the sign up uh, button so once you have filled the form you will get a uh, basic detail that what you have provided in the form itself so i'll walk you through that also but uh, these are the states and these are the functions which i have used as a bindings uh, to the states and uh, this is one of the methods you can uh, use uh, to bind the function with the uh, events so basically uh, we have also uh, used events so whatever the user is typing within the fields uh, it is being tracked using the event parameter so this this is one of the way uh, through which you can uh, bind your functions uh, within the class itself so yeah uh, it can be helpful when you bind the functions within the constructor itself so this is one of the way if you haven't seen the previous videos of mine do check that out because i've used another methods also where you can directly call the function in the button or somewhere else like that so binding is a way better than uh, calling the function in the fields itself or something like that so yeah these are the functions basically handle blur handle submit validate first name last name and etc so these are the functions handle change and as i've told you earlier these are the events which i'm using so events basically track whatever you are providing as an input to the field so event dot target object can help you track that so whatever um, data you provide or input you provide for example for the first name you provide okay dexter so basically event dot target will look into the first name for the input okay dexter yeah and uh, store that name into a state so this is basically what it does by setting the state of what you've typed in the into the field into that states so if i type okay dexter into my first name what it will do is that the event will take the input from that field and store it into the state so this is how this function returns a state with a value uh, so similarly you have handle blur and this is the main handler uh, so whenever you click on the sign up after filling all the forms and once you are validated with all the fields uh, you click on sign up and basically it will submit the form and uh, save a state of that form uh, into this component into the state basically so initially the form submit state is false on clicking sign up it will become true so i'll walk you through that also so this is the main uh, handle submit um, handler which is also binded over here over here you can see and uh, these are a bunch of field validators basically each and every field is self validated so first name um, the last name email it is also validated so if you provide some wrong input you will get a red flag below the field itself prompting you to provide a proper detail so um, if you if i take an example if you don't provide a password of minimum at least eight characters it will or give you a red flag to provide a valid uh, password same for the email and the password confirmation and things like that so this is like the field validator field level validator so yeah uh, this is the first uh, name validator last name the email address this is all binded using uh, the regex for the email and the password so we are using that also and it is a bunch of uh, if else statement it is basically validating the state and uh, the regex and uh, this is to validate the password and this is for the valid validating the password confirmation field whether the uh, state of the password which you have provided earlier is matching with the state of the password confirmation so which is this statement basically so if there is any mismatch with the password it will 
give you a flag uh, password doesn't match and it will return something password confirmation error so yeah these are as i've told you earlier these are a bunch of uh, uh, functions binded with state and things like that and this is the render method which is returning a uh, division of our details so basically after submitting the form what you'll get is thanks for signing up and find your details below so you'll get your first name last name and what the email address you have provided so as you as i've told you earlier the values which you provide in the field or the form is are uh, getting stored into the state so after uh, signing up you will get a page uh, looking somewhat like this so this is a conditional ternary operator as you can see question mark and colon uh, you can also use if else but uh, in react case we usually use this so this dot state it is also confirming with the false and true state and uh, it will look for those details in the state so once it is submitted you will get the details in a next page or component and this is our form uh, division with on submit uh, handler so on submitting the form you'll uh, invoke the handle submit uh, function which is over here yeah so yeah these are a bunch of uh, input for email address uh, last name first name password it is identical as the rest and uh, this is the button for sign up and this is the form which is ending with a close tag and we are exporting the default form component so yeah this is uh, pretty much of the entire code if you have any queries regarding it you can comment down below and let's execute the code now so initially you will not get node modules for that you need to open this so the the code editor which i'm using over here is vs code so let's open the integrated terminal click and let's hit the command npm install so this will basically install all the dependencies which are uh, available in the uh, dependencies section which is basically react and things like that so it will install that and uh, we'll just wait for it to complete yes so we are done with the installation procedure let's clear this terminal and let's run npm start so this will start our devel development server on local port 3000 and you will see a farm uh, in a minute so yeah this is our sign up form localhost 3000 uh, this is our first name last name email address password and confirmation so this symbol is nothing but an extension which i'm using for uh, uh, password manager in chrome so don't bother about this uh, black borders and black borders over here and not over here so don't worry this won't be happening in yours if you are not using any password manager so yeah this is our basic structure of our form let's provide some uh, details so as you can see i have not provided i've just left it empty it is already giving me flags so i guess we can uh, okay Dexter, or let's do it as okay. Dexter, uh, let's uh, okay. Dexter, three four at the rate gmail dot com. This is everything I'm providing. Uh, legit, uh, not legit, but valid values for the field to validate let's provide a password okay okay so let's click on sign up 
and over here you can see so this is the password man manager which I'm using so yeah let's not worry about that so this is what we get thanks for signing up and these are your details so this details ok texture email is coming from the state itself which I've shown you earlier so let me go to the render section and this is the part where you get your details from the state yeah so this is what you get at the end of uh, successfully submitting the form with valid details now let's see what is the counterpart so assuming that I'm not giving proper details let's keep it empty so let's uh, provide some random details so the last name is required okay that's normal but uh, let's say I'm not uh, providing uh, at the rate gmail.com so email is not valid I'll just uh, max, max, max this. yeah so as you can see password I'm not providing password so this is a red flag which you get password must contain at least eight characters one minimum number uppercase and one lowercase so these are the red flags which you basically get and uh, password is not matching so these are the red flags you get when you uh, provide the details and it will not validate after submitting the form so it will validate on the go itself so as you're not providing valid email it will flag uh, it will not wait for you to submit the form right so this is one of the basic um, um, web developers um, implementation kind of thing this is something you should know when you're working on some uh, authentication uh, format yeah so with the help of react you can uh, do this really easily and uh, with states it is really uh, a better idea to uh, explore more things you also have formic and uh, uh, inbuilt plugins for form validation in react but this is the basic structure how we can use react to uh, build a sign up form with a vanilla kind of a structure so yeah uh, this was the output and this is what we get and this is the basic uh, showcasing uh, showcasing of the uh, sign up form so if you have any queries regarding this you can uh, definitely hit me up in the comments and uh, uh, so yeah uh, this was it for this video guys if you like this video for whatever reason please do subscribe i'll be posting more videos and uh, more interesting things coming up uh, on the react really soon and as well as django so stay tuned for that i'm working on that so yeah uh, this was it and uh, thanks for watching